All right, folks, welcome to expedition number 67. In this expedition, we're heading to Area X. In this area, a lot of activity has happened over the years. So we're going to be utilizing some little bit of technology in this expedition. We are going to use a drone and also radio-controlled vehicle. Oh, yes, something very interesting. So... Strap on your boots. It's going to be a wild ride. Welcome to Expedition 67. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Expedition number 67. Got Devin here, and uh, we have our vehicles here as well, and we got some uh, FPV monitors. And uh, we're trying to decide what we're going to do here, and then uh, we're going to go out in the woods and uh, see what... Uh, we can see on our, on these vehicles. So, uh, woohoo! Welcome to squatching. Going mud holes. That's okay. Here we go.
All right, we are good. Time to lighten her up, my friend. Boy, that thing's a champ. Yeah, these roots are destroying us. Maybe right here, you know? I don't know. Okay, yeah, it's a lot better. Get up there. Get up there. Get up there.
we'll see what this thing is going to do. Right now, I think it's all... I got the charging equipment with me.
All right, folks. So we're by the fire, and uh, we're just we're gonna play some sounds, and I'm gonna do a couple tree knocks, and we're charging up the vehicles. I think I'm gonna try. Devin's uh, trying a sound. Alright, <coughs> first of all, I think I'm gonna try a like a. All this is, folks, is a, uh, all this is is just a, uh, a flute thing that I chopped in half and made it a little bit more compact. Started, get this party started. Gotta get the party started. Get the party started, and it goes like Devin's, this. Devin's uh, getting the some more sticks for the the fire just to hang out a little bit. I mean that's the that's the thing about this place, you know. I mean, with this place, you know, you gotta always do stuff, you know, make noise, draw attention. I mean, those vehicles are good for recon, but that's not gonna bring them in unless you put like a you rig up a loudspeaker on the RC vehicle and drive it. <laughs> All right, folks. So, so Devin's putting out the fire, and uh, we're gonna work our way up on this circle here. We're gonna come around, seeing if we get any activity. I haven't heard nothing. Like, no whoops, no woos, no nothing. Like, nothing. I mean, I don't know what the heck's going on. I mean, I thought I heard a whoop over here, but that's over towards the people. Um, it could be hunting season because 
hunting season's full just in. really quiet. We're going to hook up the RC vehicles, get them running. We're going to head back up this road here, or up this trail here. But we are finding out a lot of different things. I mean, on my perspective of RC vehicle, I think uh, there's it should be a, like a limited uh, particular time that we utilize the RC vehicle. Like, say it's a hotbed spot that we can't walk in there, but we're going to have to utilize um, RC vehicles to go in there. You know, I think place times like that, like, like, oh my gosh, we just heard knocks up that way. All right, well, and uh, next time we come back out and do that certain area, or whatever, we bring the RC vehicles out for scouting and for watching and looking. And, I mean, I don't have any uh, night vision or anything hooked to mine, so it's basically looks like a big flashlight going down the road. So, but, um,. But we haven't had no activity. We're not out of the woods yet. So uh, it could be because of the weather. It could be because of the time period as well.
flipped over on our side. Ugh. Flipped over on our side. Oh yeah, this is all grass now, man. All right, folks, so we're heading uh, back down through, and of course, the only one alive, the only vehicle alive, is, is what, Big Bertha? Baby? Oh, be big, yeah, Biggie. The only one still alive. Yeah, Biggie, man. And it's still, <laughs> it's still, and it's still going. All right, so uh, we didn't, you know, we didn't get much activity, folks. Like, like, seriously, like, we've had, a, I mean, a few odd things happen, but there wasn't uh, really anything definitive. So I think, honestly, if Bigfoot was around with uh, using the RC vehicles and uh, and us up here like this. I think it was more of a, a curiosity thing, and I think it was just trying to check us out, because we came up here with a different view, you know what I mean? Like, we came up here to, to um, you know, do this with the RV, RC vehicles and looking around and whatever else like that. Am I saying that nothing happened at all? No, because I heard, it's not like a tree knock. Saw like a gunshot and a tree knock, both at the same time. And uh, heard something get thrown, it sounded like, behind us. So we had a few a few things happen, but uh, this is a kind of a cool idea. It really is, so, I mean, to do. But if you get the right RC vehicle, and big one, like a 42, 42 scale or a big scale... Oh yeah, yeah. Put some uh, good FPV on there, long range. Oh yeah, you could sit, you could sit your butt right down on the bottom of a hill or whatever, and just drive all day long because you'll be able to sit up further. So it'll be like, 
And then, with the camera, put a, um, what, what is it called? A, uh, a servo. Put a servo on the camera itself so the camera is able to pan back and forth to the right, to the left. Or, you could just buy a remote control tank, which I don't really prefer because they'll bottom out a lot. And, uh, I mean, and they're expensive. A really nice tank is, is at least $800. And you might as well just get a gas operated remote control 40 scale or a huge scale vehicle and go with it. But that thing is just impressive. That's impressing me, that, that uh, RC vehicle there. Very impressive. Of course, you know, I have to get up, I'm going to get upgraded battery for this uh, RC vehicle that I have. But heck, it lasted a long time. I mean, they both did. And of course, <laughs> that one lasts the longest. <laughs> okay, so, Expedition, ladies and gentlemen, 67. Woo! We're really counting them up. We're going to have a, we are going to have a sit down and we're going to have some pizza and we're going to have a sit down over at my place uh, sometime when, probably Christmas after, like yeah. later on, yeah. like almost right on uh, New Year's. And we're going to watch some Squatch movies and uh, we're going to, we do it every year. You know, we, we didn't do it last year because we had some other issues going on. So, no, yeah, nobody could make it. No, you did. You came over. Yeah, we, you came over and we had... Uh, yeah, we sat down. We sat down had some pizza and stuff. Okay, so... <clears throat> all right. So, uh, this is a scoop. The activity we had out there, I believe, I truly believe, there wasn't really much Squatch activity. But, it doesn't mean that it was not around. It could have been around and it could have been watching us as we were doing what we were doing. Like, curiosity... So it didn't it didn't know how to respond to doing what we're doing because I did hear it sound like a tree knock in the distance over this way, but it, what is it was not clear enough to be that's what it was. I uh, didn't hear no whistles, didn't hear no whoops, didn't hear nothing. I did whoops, I did whistles, I just didn't do a tree knock, and also we uh, uh, did some other things with the uh, with the drone situation with the FPV RC vehicles so uh, we had a good day you know no matter what it was a, it was an interesting and you utilizing something different uh, the batteries died on my vehicle just almost halfway in through it his vehicle way back in 1994 I think is still growing it's still going all you have to do is just raise the axle on that thing and it would have probably made it all the way. So it was a good expedition, uh, no matter what. Um, if there was a Squatch up there, they're staying low. And they're watching us just for curiosity. But uh, it is hot in season. It is later in the year. So uh, a lot of things change then. So what do you think? Uh, so let's turn it over to Devin. So what do you think about this expedition and how it went? And stuff? And yeah, so there could have been something there. We did see some stuff that points to something being in the area, mm -hmm. but we didn't really hear much. Right. Nothing definitive with that. But it could have been there. Like, we saw a possible track. Yeah, the yeah, we did. Yeah, you're right. Trees pulled down. And that leads that something could still be around here. I really believe that. But at this particular uh, time, what do you think? I mean, do you think it was, uh, you know, about the curiosity? What do you think about that idea? Could have been around. Yeah. It didn't make any noise. No. Nothing that we could no, decipher. No, de decipher. We even had a fire and tried yeah. to... Yeah. I mean, fire. normally we get, like, whistle. We get, noise. get some uh, activity. Uh, maybe we just, just didn't give it along enough, or it's just too cold for them. I don't know. Yeah, probably. <laughs> Okay, so, uh, ladies and gentlemen, that was Devin. Are you done? Yeah. You got more stuff to add? Yeah, keep it squatchy and keep it real. Woohoo! 
Later, guys. See you on the next expedition. It was a fun one. Okay, so uh, we're going to be uh, flying the drone. We're in the uh, Area X area. We're going to be flying it up that way. And uh, we're going to be utilizing the camera right here to see what uh, it sees as well underneath the belly of the uh, drone. So we're going to see how this works. Hopefully it works out very well and we don't have no
All right, so uh, that was it for uh, the drone on there. So uh, we will uh, check the footage and uh, see if we got anything interesting. Hopefully we did. Hopefully it actually worked.